What's up? What's good? How you feeling? Are you eating well? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you well caffeinated like I am? Hello everyone. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? Home skillet basket. Oh my god, I missed you guys so much! <laughs> I have been gone for a little bit. Haven't sat in front of the camera for a hot minute. That was weak. Have y'all seen the meme of like Spongebob trying to rub pickles together? <laughs> anyway, I've been gone for a little while. Um, I was traveling, I went to Miami and Richmond, Virginia. In the meantime, I had quite the amount of packaging arriving at my doorstep, all of which waiting for me to unfold and besearch upon them my opinion. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to like a lot of period pieces while I was gone from Audible, not sponsored, but shout out to Audible. <laughs> so I wanted to try out basically a full face of a bunch of new stuff, not completely. Um, some like core things like my foundation and concealer and stuff haven't really changed. There's a lot of new releases or new to me releases and I just wanted to play around with those. Also just chatting with you guys because that's what I do. Because I get too caffeinated and I talk too much. Hello, hi, I'm Kenza. If you're new around here and you want somebody to listen to while you make eggs in the morning or while you do your commute to school, of course, while you're sitting on the toilet. Every time I say that, people are always like, how, how does she know? She's spying on me. Check my wig though. My wig is kind of fire. It's the first time in a hot minute I've accepted a wig from a hair company simply because hair companies be on that BS. And maybe one day in the near future, I'll kind of talk about why I don't really do hair reviews anymore. And cause they, mm -mm. but this one I wanted to do because I really, really like the company. I've worked with them before and I really enjoyed working with them. And the hair is the hair that I basically wear. Like one of three wigs that I wear constantly, the really thick straight one that I wear in like 80% of my videos. So that's how we look at I'm trying to get like Instagram level when you turn to the side and be like, that's all her. It don't quite look that seamless. And it might be because I need to put some makeup on, but when I put my makeup on, Review coming soon. So I'll let you know the info about that when I am finished with that video. But anyway, so Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe is adorable. Recently they've been doing a lot of skincare that has like fruit as the inspiration. They have an avocado line, a watermelon line, a pineapple line. This is the Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I haven't tried it yet and I highly doubt I'll be able to know very well. Wow, that smells like um, pineapple juice mixed with Flintstones chewable vitamins. Not a huge fan of that scent, actually. <laughs> That's a little weird. If I become brighter and more awake through this video because of it, I can let that slide. Then we got the watermelon pink juice moisturizer. This isn't my first time trying this, but it's like a gel moisturizer. And this smells good. Basically, I want my skin to be like a fruit salad. Oh, it smells like a watermelon jelly rancher. The Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I just like the idea of having this adorable package in my purse, spraying it on myself, and then subsequently smelling like a watermelon just, just breathed on me. That's so nice. Oh, it don't even need to work. It just smell good. So I just came from Miami and DC, well, Miami and Richmond. Miami was because of, I don't know if I should call it like a brand trip or like a, honestly it was a modeling job. And we'll get on that in a second because I can't really talk at length about modeling for what, for why, blah, blah, blah. Legally, I can't. But I had a lot of time to think and ruminate and be super, super grateful and thankful to all of my viewers are the reason why I get to do cool stuff and I'm doing cooler things each year. Like this opportunity literally came out of nowhere. I was just practicing my driving, practicing my little whip whip. I was rolling up to a Coney Island and I got an email. By the way, I'm just going in with Nara's long wear radiant, blah, blah, blah. Whole time leading up to going, I was sitting there like, this is fake. <laughs> This is just not happening because this is gonna be some fire festival. It's gonna be some, you got your hopes up for nothing. <laughs> I don't know, I just had that, I was just feeling like mad. I don't wanna say pessimistic, but like, I was just feeling mad skeptical the whole time. I'm like, leading up to it. I'm like, I don't know, man, I don't trust it. I don't, I don't think, I think partially that was because I felt 
undeserving of it. Particularly in the vein of modeling. <laughs> because I, I don't model. I, I've never modeled in my life. Never really thought about it either. So the fact that not only am I modeling for the first time, but the first time I'm modeling is for a significant brand, like a larger brand. And I'm like, how did we get here? That's, that's the thing. Like I got there and it was this big production. Again, I had never been part of such a big production before. There's all these models that are actual models there. And we just talk in and they're like, oh, so who are you signed to? And I'm like, what? <laughs> And then I realized that far as I know, I was the only model there that, model, there that had no prior modeling experience. I was just like, oh, you just threw me in the deep end. Okay. <laughs> I'm not terrified at all. I'm sitting there having like mad imposter syndrome. Like, I don't know what to do. Do I like move my hands? Like what? <laughs> but it was so rewarding, so much fun. I'm so grateful to said brand for giving me the opportunity. They did an amazing job as far as like making us feel comfortable. And they had like these world renowned photographer whose work I had seen. And I was like, this is not real. Like literally leading up to it. Do I actually have a reservation? Do I actually have a flight? <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna get kidnapped. It's gonna be fire festival. I don't know what's happening. Wish I would have had the energy because it's not that I didn't have the time. I just didn't have the energy to go exploring more. While I was there, I became incredibly enamored with bowls, like foods in bowls, which I've always enjoyed, but more so in this last, you know, week or so. Acai bowls, poke bowls, salad bowls, rice bowls, tabbouleh bowls. I was on it. I was a vegetarian by accident for three days. <laughs> so when I got home, your girl was bowling it. She was making salad bowls with brown rice, a little quinoa. Yes, Whole Foods. I didn't even go to Whole Foods. I went to Aldi. <laughs> yes, healthy eating on accident. Delicious. I had an acai bowl that was literally the size of my head because every acai bowl I'd ever seen was like kind of like dessert size. So it was like supposed to be eaten, I suppose, in conjunction with other food. So I bought a poke bowl and an acai bowl and they both came to be as big as my head. And I was like, oh no, whatever am I gonna do? I smashed <laughs> both of them. I went to Richmond for a little like sit down panel type thing at VCU. I've done it two years in a row now about mental health, particularly about mental health within like the YouTube space. And that was really fun. Got to see Courtney from whatever her name is <laughs> on YouTube. Courtney and Jasmine. I, can, I never remember what their YouTube channel was actually called. Two, two Dong Min something. He, it's the shiny names mixed together, but I never remember what order. Um, her lover to pieces. It was so fun because we ended up like rooming together and I hadn't seen her since KCON last year in LA. So. I was like, oh my God, yes, I love Courtney. And then I got to meet Michael, AKA or formerly known as, I don't know, Mr. Popo TV, who is like an OG K-pop reactor. I never met him prior to this event and I hadn't, I wasn't particularly familiar with his videos, but he was really cool to hang out with. The dude has a million and a half stories. His life is, is eventful. <laughs> And after meeting him, I was like, you need to make yourself a channel just about your experiences because I'd watch. <laughs> I don't want to tell any of the stories because A, that's his business, but B, I want those videos to be made. <laughs> I'm just curious about delivery. It's going to be incredible. Have you ever just met a person where it's like, your life got too much going on? And, and he's also one of those people, and I love that. I love it. When people talk about things that are really out of the box, but they do it in such a calm way that it takes you off guard. You're like, what? living in Australia and hunting donkeys. What? He didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Gonna go in with the Fenty loose powder in banana. This is new to me, but not new. It's new to me simply because I didn't have the shade before and I decided to follow up and actually get the shade now. I did do a whole video on the Fenty concealers and powders when they came out. And what I kind of said in that video is that the color that I, choose to, I chose to highlight actually was not light enough. And this one seems to be doing pretty good. It still has a scent though. I don't know what's going on with powders. 
having since recently. I don't know what that's all about. Benefit Silver, a bunch of brow products. Again, these aren't new, but they're new to me. Um, I tested, it out, tested these out a little bit before I left, and they might be that girl. They might actually be that chick. I just drooled on myself a little bit. Oh my God. Cabral, this is in number five. Now, here's the thing about, uh, oh, by the way, it has the little brushy thing. If you're unfamiliar, these have been out for a while, but here's the thing about Cabral that I really appreciate and I really need more like pomades to get on this tip. It's not super soft. It's not super gel. It's not like an eyeliner for your eyebrows. It, it has a very distinct texture for your eyebrows. Dip Brow from Anastasia. As much as I love a lot of Anastasia brow products, Dip Brow has always been a product that just befuddled and confused me because it was just so freaking pigmented. And don't get me wrong, this is not like a weak girl. Like I feel like I can reel her in. Like I can, I can help. We can both get here together instead of just my eyebrow product taking the reins and just going wherever it wants to go, you know? Also, one thing that I forgot to do with this brow is with a pomade, it's probably a better idea to start in the middle then go to the tail and then kind of whatever is left, bringing it to the front. Ooh, I like this brow better because I did it right. I'm, I might have to, mm. we're gonna do this brow over. And the Lord said to the Hebrews, a good brow is a show of a virtuous woman. An old time road is stuck in my head. Don't take my horse down the old time road. We gonna just set it with a little gimme brow. No, we not, cause it's colored. My bad. A little bit of 24 hour brow setter, which is a clear product. Yeah. This smell good. But this smell like some lash glue that I had from the dollar store. It might be the same thing, cause it was clear too. I mean, when they asked for a brow. No, semi new addition to our bronzing situation is Chocolate Soleil, this is actually dark chocolate Soleil because this is what I was trying to buy the first time and I made a mistake and got dark cho uh, regular chocolate Soleil. Now I got dark chocolate. Regular chocolate Soleil works fine on me, but I still wanted to kind of compare. Yeah, this is way cooler than the other one. We shall see. Tap, 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 tap. That works to the cause of the people. But anyway, yeah, it was so funny when I came back from both trips, my mom wanted to know like everything about what all happened and I kept just listing good food I had. <laughs> Mood, so relatable, oh my God. Quality content, see I'm right. I had a chia pudding that was delicious and I was like, so those are gonna be a thing that I do now. I have two in my refrigerator right now that are setting up. They're gonna take a few more hours. Hopefully by the time I'm done with this video, they'll be kind of set up. I have a chocolate, uh, what will be a chocolate strawberry chia pudding. And then I have a coconut milk, cinnamon, ginger, maybe almond one, we'll see. But it's coconut milk based, so it's gonna be coconutty, as you would imagine. Sounds like it will be fire, but I don't know if I put enough chia seeds in it, so. We got blushes from Pixie, the Pixie Glow Cake. I presume this is supposed to be like bronzer, blush, and highlighter, but I'm not gonna use it like that. They're like kind of like ombre, products i think because i don't know where i'm going with like my makeup today i'm gonna use this one instead of the pink one but the pink one is in pink champagne and the bronzier one is called gilded bear glow well after bath sorry i really feel like at this point my my References are getting so obscure that they're not even landing anymore. So if anyone gets that joke, please let me know. I know what the people want. This is the essence <laughs> of sex after birth. B-I-I-T-H, birth. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the old favorite, a little bit of hemor. Gonna go in a, with a little favorite here, Trench Rose from The Sim. But yo, honestly, I really am turning into, an, into like a 40 year old housewife. Kids off to school, so I do nothing but listen to audiobooks and watch 2020. I talked about this, I think, in my last video, but I'm still on that. <laughs> that was another thing. I came from the trip, and the only thing I talked about was how irritated I was about this book and the food I ate. My mom was like, What about the. 
You ain't got nothing to say about anything but food and how irritated you are about that. I ended up being in the airport for like 10 hours. So I had nothing to do but to listen to audiobooks. Actually the entire experience while I was gone, I was doing nothing but listening to audiobooks. So I listened to maybe two or three books, three books, three, four books while I was gone. Um, one of them was like an audio documentary that I found very, very fascinating. Again, not sponsored by Audible. Love the service though. It's not sponsored, but on Audible, they have like, like Audible Originals. And I ended up listening to The Last Days of August. By the way, I'm about to go in with one of these highlighters. The colors look different on camera than they do in person. These are the Pixie Glowy Glossomer Duo. That's funny. Subtle Sunshine and Delicate Dew. I'm going in with Sunshine. This one is like more peachy side. Because again, I'm on that like peach highlighter kick. I'm going for it. Anyway. So yeah, that was actually quite the listen. Um, it was an audiobook, but it was also like a more like an audio documentary more so than like just like casual audiobookedness. Oh, that's pretty. It's about the days that led up to the suicide of August Ames, a once very popular adult entertainment actress. Up until this point, um, it was widely accepted that she killed herself after being bullied on Twitter. Whereas this, this documentary kind of likes to say, which I think is very important, that there's a lot of reasons why people are depressed. There's a lot of reasons why people end up in such a dire straits as deciding to kill themselves. Um, and this documentary is kind of looking at all of, or many of the possible culmination of reasons why a person like August decided to kill herself. Interviewing, you know, people from all over the industry. And what's very interesting though, that I found after I listened to it, again, highly recommend it if it's not to, if you're of age one, <laughs> cause it is quite heavy. Um, gotta get that nostril. It was the fault of her environment, the fault of her upbringing, the fault of her caretakers, the fault of her industry, her, you know, it's just a lot of things that go into why someone gets so depressed that they would rather... Sorry, this got dark really quickly, I'm sorry, but it was one of the things I listened to while I was gone. I appreciated about the documentary is that it kind of looked at it from as many viewpoints as possible. Kind of just followed where the evidence led. I think what's interesting is that in some ways it does kind of seem like it places a lot of blame on very specific people. Um, but I don't think it's, I don't, I didn't really like internalize it as that. It's more so just like, it's not one particular thing to blame. There's a lot of things that probably were factors and did not help. Um, some of which, some of which August perpetuated onto herself that led to her own self-destruction. So yeah, I feel like it was a good read not really a read, like a listen, how we affect others and also how we affect ourselves. My peeps over at Kaja got liquid eyeshadows and I wanna use them all. I got wig hair over everything I own, good God. But these are the moon crystals. I guess they refer to these as kind of like liquid pigments. These cream shadows, they come out in like a squeeze tube, which I appreciate. Ooh, ooh, that shines different on camera. Wow, this is like orange in person and gold. What? Whoa, that looks different on camera too. In person, this is purple. Bruh, what type of magic? Hold on, now I wanna swatch all that. Well, it kinda looks blue on camera. What, these are cute. Oh, these are fire. Oh wait, hold on. Now this one's more true to color. This one doesn't really have a dual chrome, I don't think. Yeah, but boy, ooh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> magic, number seven. I'm kinda gonna use this as a base Yo. <laughs> oh no, that's beautiful. Oh no, that's so nice. But I gotta cover it. Oh no. <laughs> Give all my other shadows this kind of like iridescent undertone. But these really could be used on their own. Wow, that's so pretty. That is so pretty and it doesn't look as good on camera. I did end up listening to another book while I was gone. Um, it was a little bit more scandalous, if you will. That sounded bad, but it, it, it was a ro like a, not a romance. I guess it is t kind of a romance, but the romance was very like, not as important as the like coming of age story. It's called Sugar Daddy by Lisa Klepus. Klepus, Klepus. It's not nearly as sexual as it sounds. There, I mean, there is sex, but it's not, that's not, it's not a, it's not Fifty Shades of Grey, a daddy type story at all. <laughs> so about a girl 
that like tries to find herself as she has to take care of her younger sister after their after their mom dies so it's just her kind of going through life and finding out how to best provide for her family and ironically despite it being called sugar daddy without a sugar daddy so there is no actual sugar daddy in the in the movie in the book so i don't know why they called it that that book didn't get to the point for like hours i was in that airport for hours a love story but you don't even meet the main dude she's into until like 16 chapters in like <laughs> it's okay there were some parts that were a little off-putting especially considering the main character is half mexican half white set in texas so as you can imagine there's some good old family racism in there <laughs> it was a book i mean I wouldn't read it again, if you will, but it was something to listen to while I was gone. Anyway, I may have cried, or may have almost cried. I didn't have like a full like tear, but I was like, <laughs> guess who has a box? From Pat McGrath. And all at once, like, yeah, I got flued out. Pat McGrath noticed me, like, oh my God. My eyebrows grew back come out with single shadows that are just well I swatched them before I left because I didn't help myself I think they came the day I flew out specifically our shimmers I like her mattes but I don't feel like if you're gonna invest in a Pat McGrath product I wouldn't invest in her mattes because it's kind of like it's a matte shadow like it'll perform nice but it's like nice enough to pay $25 a shadow I don't know in purple rain R E I G N. <sighs> lapis, 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 luxury. <laughs> ah, yes. There's another purple in here. This is in synthetic. Synthetica. I guess I'll put it to the other purple so you can see the difference between the purples. Oh, bitch. Okay, I'm using that one. <laughs> it's gotten to the point that I'm starting to run out of space again. I, I do a lot of clearing out, by the way. I'm just going to go in with a matte. One of the mattes. This is in Statuesque. I'm, I'm deciding whether or not I really want to just get more things to hold makeup or just continue to do what I've been doing thus far and it's like if it doesn't fit you must have quit no sorry like if it doesn't fit like really highly consider if I can throw something out to make it fit or like or just give it away that's kind of how I've been doing it so far but there's so much that I like and I don't want it to leave I don't want it to go away it's so nice I'm sitting here like mmm barbecue sauce on my titties <laughs> A lot of people told me I look like the girl that was in that vine, which I find very funny. I'm deciding whether or not I'm just gonna invest in like a bigger thing to put all my makeup in. But at the same time, again, the the goal is still to move very like within the next few months. Still haven't found an apartment that's not ugly, but we're at this point I'm just about to settle. Purple rain. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but not a whole lot, so I'm gonna put this in the crease. All of Pat McGrath's shadows have this kind of like, this interesting, like, it's so smooth that it's almost creamy, but it's just not, like. Oh, this just brought up my tax bracket. Synthetica, which is like the shimmery purple. I'm just gonna take that on my finger. Oh girl, y'all can't see that, but that's straight fire. <laughs> Whoa, this is such a joyous experience. It really is. And also purple shadows are so hard to get right. Going in with that teal. La piece luxury. Oh. Sorry. Imagine like people walking in and they're like family just hears me moaning yes and then it's just like an awkward She's just putting on eyeshadow dad. There's a rose gold that I want to use for literally no reason oh. I love my job so much Please don't break dear god Rose Venus 
my god the camera don't know what this is because it's not it's not picking it up at all the thing is these are super pigmented so they're like staining my hands and celestial i hope it doesn't have like some weird shift or something that i can't see in the swatch because i'm trying to highlight my brow with it okay good in with the matte or -er purple again because i need your green light day and night say that you're mine and also these shadows knock on wood don't have like any fallout which is so weird to me so i'm gonna go pop a lash on because that's gonna take a while and a lash is thoroughly needed in a situation like this maybe even some liner i don't know we'll see how the day takes me and i'll be right back Ooh, yes i'm sorry that is so beautiful oh my god there's this pink and i kind of want to use this somewhere this isn't the rose gold though this is pale fire a little bit just a tiny just a little whisper a little whisper right on this crease right here to give it just a little bit of a it is a dark water color though she she's in there Yes, bitch! Lips. Okay. Got me a little package from Thrive Cosmetics. I don't know if these like are new colors or just a new thing. They sent me some lip products, two lip liners, and some lip gloss. These look kind of sexy. Lip filler lip liner. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner in Gazine. How do you pronounce that? Ooh, your girl got a mustache. Well, don't get too close. Let me see. The higher and so. Okie okay, dokie, okay. that's all for today, folks. I hope you guys just enjoyed chilling out with me. It's been fun having you. It's good to be back. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are KennyJD. And I'll see you guys next time.